Mm, nothing special. Pretty standard kitchen. Hmm. Is he gonna get mad if I hack this? That's it. Nice one, sir. No, apparently he doesn't care about hacking. Okay, cool. Please at least do your part of the cleaning and keep the bar tidy. Scarlet already cleans half the rooms, the tables, and the patio. I do the rest. May I remind you that I'm not mother, yes? May I remind you that I am not mother, yes? From Yefim. We are running a hotel, yes? People pay to sleep here. It's closing the bar at the time. Sometime every night possible. Sometimes guests still hear you laughing with bar customers well into early morning. You are anything but quiet. At least keep it down if you insist on serving drinks at all hours. Yiffin. Please, dude, look at this. Please pay your. Please get up. Please lower your voice. Please pay your bills. I do not mind paying bills for our business, but I am not your accountant. Every time you go shopping, you tell the merchant to build the dugout. Then I have to go pay them off, or we both lose everything. We are in this together, yes? Then why am I the only one who keeps personal finance from professional finance? Yiffin. Mikey DK and Snick Rep 1, both with the over 20 months. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> Read these notes. I try to talk, you brush me off. You say, put what I want on the terminal and you will get to it. But then you never read what I write. Can you not understand how maddening this is? You will not be even be reading this, will you? Father was right. Heavy is the back that carries two loads. Tip and what's up, dude? How are you? Oh, man, that's hilarious. They are having problems. Wait, what? are not your enemy. They are victims in this war as well. True, they were created by the Institute, but they were created as slaves. Thinking, feeling, and dreaming beings, utterly oppressed by their tyrannical masters. So join with us in fighting the real enemy, the Institute. I'll take your order when Join the railroad. When you're ready for that next step, don't worry. We'll find you. That's the same not railroad from, uh, oh, okay. new, er, from 3. Mm. Whatever you want, I ain't got time. Vadim. Come, come, have a drink. I didn't buy bar to sell water. Ha ha, funny man. So, this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. We call it Bobrov's Best. Had to start renting out rooms just so customers uh, had a place to safely pass out after drink. Nice prop, Danny. <laughs> Uh, you probably have the same stuff, so not right now. Maybe later. Yeah, your call. Your call. All right, let's do a quick lap of the inside, just to make sure there's nothing important in here. God, we need to steal all this stuff. All right, we're going to do one more lap outside at night, and uh, make sure there's no one else we want to talk to or anything in the night. And then I think we're going to come back here, sleep, and then send Cogsworth back and uh, start stealing everything. Well, maybe we should send Cogsworth back before the morning so we can steal everything at night. That may be a better idea. What's this? Earl Sterling's house, okay. Warehouse. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I didn't think the water would be so radiated. Damn. Dr. Sun's house. But that's okay, because he only serves Crocker's house. Thing. You cause trouble, there's gonna be trouble. Got it? DCR. Oh, oh, is this the dude? Oh, um, hi. It's Better. Travis! Travis. Hey, I mean, I mean, I mean, hi. Again. Uh, hi? Hi. Don't, uh, don't, don't break my stuff if you, uh, if you don't, if you don't mind. Hey, Travis. This radio station, um, well, <laughs> well uh, you'll notice there aren't any other ones. 
so uh, <laughs> I I don't I don't uh okay. I usually don't <sighs> this is why. This is why. Travis. Hey. I mean I mean I mean hi. Again. Uh hi? Hi. I I don't I don't ah! uh, Oh, poor Travis, man. I usually don't. Wow. This is why. Nicodemus fix him? I don't know how he can fix him. He doesn't seem to offer a quest or anything. We'll have to come back later. Why would stealing... How do you steal from a trash can? Clean... Water? Is that what that says? Hmm. Okay, nothing back here. Let's look over this way. We could take mud fruit and potatoes. That's good. They keep talking about the stands. I wonder how we... Okay, there they are. It looks like they're up there. Let's kind of cut down some of these side streets, though. Oh, this is the detective. Okay, we don't want to do that. Yep, we're not doing that. That's Myrna's house. That's the back side of Myrna's house. What's this? Science center. Professor? I have a new theory about how the Institute makes the synths. Oh, no. We've been talking about this, remember? After last time, the shouting, me sleeping on the cold floor of the lab for three nights. That was your choice. And seriously, growing synths from the ground using recombinant plant nuclei? I mean, how could they even... Ah, uh ha! -huh. You do want to talk about it. Ah, uh, oh, look. We have a visitor. Dr. Duff, dear. If you could bother them while I walk away from this conversation. Hi there. Are you here for today's free biology lesson? Uh, giggity? Biology lesson? That's right. Usually the kids from the schoolhouse are the first to drop by, but I don't see why I can't start the lesson with you. Now, we all talk about radiation like it's a single thing, but it's actually a term referring to dozens of different ionizing rays. You have X-rays, beta rays, gamma rays, but... Which one are we most worried about? The one most associated with the big old bombs 200 years ago. Gamma rays? That's right. Now, gamma rays are bad. Really bad. If your body absorbs too much of that kind of radiation, you'll suffer from fatigue, anemia, even death. But some life forms have been living with gamma radiation exposure for two centuries now, and they've adapted. Neat, huh? What's adapted? What kinds mm. of things have adapted to radiation? Oh, that's the perfect segue into the field trip portion of the lesson. Are you ready? Let's do it. Sign me up. You're gonna go out and find a bloat fly gland. You see, the oversized bloat fly of today evolved from an earlier species of a smaller fly. Radioactive adaptation has resulted in a unique gland that enables it to balance and maintain speed despite its size. So what do you say? Ready to go out and dissect one? I do a job. I get paid. This isn't about money. This is about science. You gotta do it for the love of exploration. Uh, hold on. Carswick didn't like that. I'm totally safe coming Cogsworth because I've already pissed him off many times. Growing synths from the ground using recombinant plant nuclei? I mean, how could they even? Ah, uh, ha! You do. Gamer meditation, uh, right, dude? Oh, look. We have a visitor. Dr. Duff, dear. If you could bother them while I walk away from this. Great stream. Maybe by fall today and about to play it. Keep up the good work from Dan. Thank you, bud. Die Wool. I can't afford to sub as a student, but I can tip because you and the community are awesome. Thanks for all you do and hugs from Bordeaux. Sorry if my English is weird. It's perfect. And Fallout 4 Rocks from Die Wool. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate that, man. Biology lesson? That's right. Usually the I know Charles, the I know. House are the first to drop by, but I don't see why I can't start the lesson with you. Now, we all talk about you have x-ray. 
gamma rays? That now. I should always quick save before making a decision. What kinds of? Oh. Sign me. Up. You're gonna go out radioactive. So what do you? Say? Now let's save it. If I do this, I do a job. This isn't about. Hold on. I want to see if she'll actually pay us. And if she, if we succeed, will Cogsworth still get pissed? I do a job. Money. Oh. Um. How about? Yeah, he still uh, didn't like it. So, but we'll we'll just do normal. Yes. Get the blowfly gland. Got it. Remember, bring the gland back. I think we have one. Piece. Oh, and don't chew on it. One of the students got horribly sick because of that mistake. Thank you, Fat Jesus Saves You. I totally know about that. And yes, we're going to do Trinity Tower today. Absolutely, buddy. Thank you, man. Really appreciate that, uh, FJSV. Dr. Duff. Or FJSY, Dissecting I guess. a bloat fly can be fun. Just avoid getting stung to death, and you'll be a junior scientist in no time. I guess we don't have the bloat fly, man. We'll have to get that later. Let's go talk to the other person before we go. Hi. Professor Scara. Dr. Duff handles all the visitors. Bother her. Okay. Well then. Super nice of you to say that. I appreciate it. So we need to get a bloat fly gland now, and then we have to chew on it for science. For science! Bum, 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 bum. <sighs> Thank you to Carbon TV, Ozzy Ozrock. And Dishonoru. Appreciate it. Robots tend to get more dangerous as they get damaged. That's kind of cool. Hey, I think those Bulbra brothers are looking for you. Uh, they are? Wait, what? That's the guy in here, right? Hey, Bamson Sanchez. What's up, buddy? Jay Boogie, how you been, man? Oh, here we go. Quiet, you. All right, you. Tell me. Diamond City Radio? It's terrible, yes? Makes you want to cut your own ears off. Uh, what's the issue, bud? So, what's the issue? Have you not listened? This DJ Travis, he's terrible. Makes me want to go back in time and prevent radio from ever being invented. But him, it's true. Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Are you serious? Are you serious? Did we not just agree this is serious problem? Calls for serious solution. First, you get him to follow you out of town. All right. No. That's enough. But him isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. What's really going on, man? Okay, what's really going on here? <laughs> Sorry, we were just joking around a bit. <laughs> it's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job. Or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. Well, that can always be turned around. Exactly. This is what I'm telling you, Fim. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Yeah. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. Uh-oh. Sir, if I might bend your ear for a moment. What's up, man? Of course. Of course. Go right ahead. <laughs> so gracious, sir. I do appreciate it. I've always had such admiration for you and your family, ever since the day my visual senses were first switched on. You and the missus, so good with young Sean, and so trusting of me to look after such a newborn bundle of joy. It just warms my nuclear core. So, you can imagine the distress I felt when the bombs fell, after you fled to the vault. I searched, but found no evidence of your death. I could only hope you all made it in time. And when you returned, 
I was overjoyed. I admit I ran a full diagnostic scan just to make sure I wasn't malfunctioning. <laughs> but the news, the news of the Mrs. and Sean, believe me when I say it takes a true hero to live through that. I'm no hero, man. I'm no hero, Codsworth. Believe me. Don't sell yourself short, sir. In such a bleak world as this, think of all you've witnessed and all you've done. In my 200 years, I've seen it tear good men and women apart. But you, sir, you have remained the very model of what humanity should aspire to be. That means a lot, man. Thank you. Thank you, Codsworth. That means a lot. No thanks necessary, sir. I wouldn't hear of it. I truly believe if the Commonwealth is to turn itself around, you're the one to do it. Now, not another word. I stand firm in my belief. Let's get back to it. Whoa. Dudes. Thanks to your re relationship with Cogsworth, you received 10 damage resistance against robot energy weapons? That's awesome! Hell yeah! Fantastic! Alright, where did up? If you need a room, otherwise the bar is over. We gotta follow this guy to the back room. Is that this? No, it's uh, like a laundry room. Hey man, sorry for the first time three days ago and I already subbed. You are awesome and keep up the good work from Tesla. Thank you, Tesla. Really appreciate that, man. Thank you, buddy. Looking forward to getting to know you over the next few months, man. Everyone just buys the beer. There he is. What do you want, Vadim? I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother. Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. Happy to help, man. What's up? Waiting for an idea. I'm just waiting to hear your idea. Travis needs boost of confidence. You know what does that for him? Winning a bar fight. Oh no. Are you sure you've been in one, yes? Oh man. Why? What does that have to do with anything? I ask because I want you to help Travis win his first bar fight. Think you can do that? I want to stage fight here in Daga. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? Need more. Gonna need some more information. Okay. I have this all thought out. I have contacts. People I can count on. Real tough looking. But they will take a dive for money. They confront Travis here at Daga. You step in and give him push he needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? I think this is kind of a terrible idea, but I kind of want to see this play out. All right, I'm in. Ah, I knew I could count on you. I have everything ready by 6 o'clock. Travis should be here by then. You show up, and it will go well. Promise. Bamson, I would keep wearing different shoes. I think that's cooler, to be honest. Okay, um, I'm not going to do this quest yet, because I don't think we've really heard all of Travis's radio quips yet, and they're hilarious. So I'm not going to fix Travis yet. I want to keep listening to the radio today. But we will do that quest at some point later. Now, if we send Cogsworth back, do we lose the perk? Um, what's this? Oh, let's see what's in here. Why didn't I ask for money? Because I think it would piss off Cogsworth. I don't want to do that right now. If you're here to pray, sit down and be quiet. <clears throat> First time, just try to keep it down. Don't know if this praying thing works, but it couldn't hurt. Morning, Dego. Hey. Not sure what god I'm supposed to be praying to. Master says it doesn't matter. Hyperialist, good to see you too, man. Good morning. Good to see someone new in the chapel. 
Hey, E. Johns and Imperialist. You all right? Thank you, guys. Chapel? Fine, thanks. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. Old folks are taking well <laughs> to you. I know it can be rough being from the outside. Now, if you ever need a quiet place to sit down and ponder the Almighty in whatever form strikes your fancy, we're always open. What religion is this? So, you don't practice any particular religion here? As long as you believe in something, you're welcome. Diamond City Gary. is full of people trying to build a better life. I just don't want them to forget what makes them human while they're at it. So, the chapel is open 24 hours a day. To whatever form of worship you like long as it's peaceful hmm thanks pastor thanks pastor feel free to make yourself at home so you don't need any help or anything pastor we are always open anytime you need to sit and talk to whoever you think is up there hmm that's damn respectable I like it All right, so that's the way out. And if that's the way out, what is this? Hey, Ko, are there any perks for energy weapons? I would like to use them as my main weapon in Fallout 4. I can see there's a perk for pistols and automatics, but I cannot see energy anywhere. Loomis Digital, they do weapons differently in Fallout 4. Energy is covered... <laughs> energy weapons are covered in the other perks. So if you get a pistol damage perk, an energy weapon pistol will also cover. If you get an automatic weapon perk, then an automatic weapon will cover. It's uh, it's it's all kind of uh, amalgamated into single perks now. There's no energy in guns. Oh, the mayor's that way. Okay, well we're not gonna go that way. Probably not. Some guy came Sir, town. Gary. Uh, Anything for an understand? This is what I like about you, Wellington. You know what you are. I'm not trying to be anything other than helpful. People down there. Lower field workers always want what they have in their. Impressive. That Mr. Hanley looks to be in excellent condition. Pardon me, but I just wanted to say how refreshing it is to see another model both intact and in service. I may have been programmed to serve, but in your case, I shall do so disdainfully. Let me know when you're ready to order. Jeez, they're a problem, bud? They're a problem? No problem at all. My programming dictates that I serve all customers in the colonial tap house. Even those that obviously don't belong. Just know that my sensors indicate that you have dangerously low Gary. levels of class for this establishment. Thanks to you guys buying the shirts. You guys are awesome. I'll take a look. Sure. Tastes hey, Big Bear Blue, what's up, bud? Sophisticated. A uh, bunch of food. Nothing really good. Now, who are you? Excuse me. Oh, I don't object to you outsiders coming up here, but must you insist on speaking to me? Jeez, man. These guys are dicks. As are you. I do believe what a bit of a rarity it is, days. As do I. Until we meet again. Darcy, let's go. Take it easy. I don't think she wants to leave just yet. Hey, this is between me and my wife. Why don't you mind your own damn business for once? Oh, God, Paul, why do you always have to make a scene? Pour me another drink, Henry. Damn it, Darcy, I just want you to come home. I'll be home later. Can't believe you'd do this to me, Cook. Do what to you, Paul? You smug bastard. You keep away from my wife, God damn it. You'd better get out of here before you do something stupid. You son of a bitch! Don't hurt him, Henry! Ah! 
Go on. Get out of here. I'll be at home, Darcy, taking care of our son. Oh, that was super awkward. Oh, my lord. Mm -mm. Sir? Sorry I had to see that. Things are usually a lot quieter around here. Perfect place to drink, if you're buying. What was that argument about? Uh, nothing much. You see, Darcy here likes to relax and enjoy life from time to time, and her husband Paul doesn't. He's not a bad guy, really. Just a little uptight. Too bad he can't learn to relax, huh, Darcy? Shut up. I don't come here to talk about Paul. You there! I haven't seen you in here before. Why don't you make yourself useful and buy me a drink or something? You come here often? As often as I can. Henry is so good at listening to my troubles. Troubles? What would you know about that? Now, you need to order anything? So is this your place? That's right. Owner, bartender, sympathetic ear. I try to provide a little oasis from the hardships of life. Name's Cook, by the way. Henry Cook. Let me know if I can get you anything. Uh, let's take a look at what he has. Sure. Let's take a look. Here's the menu. Probably just food and... Yeah. Okay. Hey. Now here is where you want to be. Anyone who's anyone drinks here. So you and those people. Okay. Don't be shy. Sit down and have a drink. Are you here for a beer? Or uh, maybe something a little stronger? Nah. Not right now. Gotcha. Hey there. Why, hello there. So lovely to see more young people up here in the stands. We're all so, well, old. <laughs> <laughs> what? You should meet my grandson. Oh, not that he would ever come up here. No, Hawthorne has too much of his mother in him. Hey, Hawthorne, we this. talked to him earlier. My grandson calls himself Hawthorne, but it's really his last name. I'm Eustace Hawthorne, and his father. Thank you, Tushaya. And Res Pantivo. Appreciate it, dudes. Who are you? Hey. Are you lost? Okay. <clears throat> well, hello there. Another one of the poor and stupid of Diamond City come begging for table scraps? The poor and stupid? Oh, don't act like you don't know. There's two types of people in this town. The ones living in the stands and everyone beneath us. I know everyone in the stands and that doesn't include you. Now, why don't you make yourself scarce? Whoa. Who are you, anyway? Anne Codman, of the Codman family, of the upper stands. If you haven't heard of us, that just shows how unimportant you are. Now, were you leaving or not? Fine, I'll leave. Good to see you know your place. Here we go. You aren't getting away from me. Mm -mm. We going outside? We doing this? We doing this? I'll follow you outside. Let's go. Oh, they locked the door on me. Well, fine. I'll kill all of you. That's fine. Let's do it. Who else? Who else is going? You? Who are you? Yeah. Up and stand my ass. Come here. I don't even know who you are. Get out of here. Who are you? Shut up. I didn't die. That was someone else. Um, <laughs> what's up, bro? Are you m much more of an ass, or what are you? Hey there. <laughs> you just walked right up into the stands, didn't you? I like your stone. Indecisive Samurai, thanks for your two months, bud. You should have a drink. What good is it having a cocksure youth among us if we don't stiffen him up with some liquor? <clears throat> you again? What? Prefer the company of old men? We have the benefit of years of experience, you know. <laughs> ah, don't 
mind me. Okay. Ninja speed, my bad, man. <laughs> I've only been in stuff for a few days, and I'm so glad to have found you in this community. Keep up the great stream, brother, from triple six. Thank you, man. Really appreciate it. Awesome, awesome. Dude, there's a lot of grenades there I've never seen before. 